As discussed in previous videos, we're going to bring you the gas mileage, and here it is on this 77 Dodge van with a 318 two barrel. As you know, if you've been following along, we did a little bit of head work. I am surprised by the results. Uh, I'll discuss that as it goes. And also keep in mind, guys, this was a good running vehicle that I started with. It ran well. We've already taken it on journeys and it was a good running van. So it wasn't like we had something that ran and missed and had a burnt valve and all this. We know what the results are on the performance. I showed you that, but let's talk about the gas mileage. Let's get started. check the gas mileage it's got to be a way for us to see if precisely can't do this off of 50 miles or even 100 we're gonna figure it out and this is the mileage we're starting at 690.8 we've already checked the speedometer and all of that right with the GPS we're spot on we're confident we're going to get a pretty accurate reading over a couple of tanks. We'll take you with this on a little bit of it. Sure is a nice day for a travel though. Fill it up with gas and get our first window shot of gas mileage. really can't put any more in it. Oh, coming out now. 13.94, so we're gonna do the math. So we started at 690.8, so I need to figure out exactly what we did. So we have 191.3 miles, and then we're gonna divide that by 13, Point, was it 9.4? Yeah, 9.4. Here's the magic number. 13.72. I didn't really gain anything off of that tank, guys. Stayed just about where it was, and I'm shocked. I'm surprised. But we're gonna do the next tank and see how it does. Now that totally surprised me. I told my wife, we were on the highway, I said, with the part throttle response that I have now and how it just wants to pull up the hills with just barely touching the gas, I believe that my gas mileage should have been about 15 miles per gallon. I thought we'd at least hit that. Certainly didn't lose anything because it was at 13.5 was the starting place, but 13.72? It's what it was. I bring you the truth. We're having a, a bite to eat, but uh, the gas mileage, I said it's just like a, uh, a snapshot because literally one gas station, you might get a half a gallon or even up to a gallon more into the tank or less. And also the we went all over hills, curves, cities. And uh, so we don't know what we'll average with the next tank. We're not at our destination yet, but we'll continue to go and we'll, average it out and the next one will give us some more a lot more stability on the gas mileage of it so we'll see one thing we have shown is that snapshot we're not going to get 24 miles per gallon we're not going to get eight miles per gallon it at least gives us you know kind of a baseline of about where we're going to be but we'll find out As we pretty much have arrived at our campsite and got things set up from here on out on this tank it's pretty much going to be all short stops and goals stops and goals and uh, pull over here pull over there run to this town run to that town and uh, just it's going to barely hit 45 50 mile an hour and we'll be on the brakes again so 
We'll see what kind of damage this does to the gas mileage. Should be very interesting to see. If you ever get to Pella, Iowa, I don't know much about the Dutch. I painted once with Dutch paint. I did find the, the elapsed time slip for the for our race with the Hoosier Garage, our van versus theirs. We'll be using this sundial here. That'll that'll pretty much let us know our ET slip. Out of all these boutique stores and fancy stores, all kinds of frappe stores, right next to the baloney on you store and the briskets for all or whatever it is over there, I can't see them. There's an auto parts store. I gotta go check that out. It, it looks good there. No, it's probably a little out of place. I guess the letter bakery thing is the thing to do when you're here. It's what they're famous for. They're bakeries. I, I don't know how to say it. Cheap, good, just, what's the place, name of this one we were at? Jar, Jarma? Jar, jar, Jarma. Jar, I don't know. I'm not Dutch. Jar, Jarsma? Anyways, everything you'd want. I think I gained four pounds just by looking, but we're gonna try it. Just cross this bridge, cross the Des Moines River. I get pretty good gas mileage when I'm using my Audible Nikes. In case you don't recognize it, I'm at the exact same pump as the last time we filled up, except this time we're pulling out the head for home. This tank of gas here was all campsite, small town driving, virtually just short chasing runs. That's all it is. So we should take a hit on the gas mileage here. We'll figure it out. Turn the lights so you can see. We've went 136.6 miles. I'm expecting it to hold 10, uh, at least 10 gallons, maybe more. I don't expect to average almost 14 on this tank. I want it to come out as it did before. Ten gallons. So we got 13.6 miles per gallon on all the short runs, chasing through all the the couple of towns we were all through, around the campground, down, up, over, basically removing the highway. Still got 13.6. Now this is the tank that shocked me probably more than the first tank, is the fact that I did a lot of short stops and goes down here to a walking trail, up here to the a lookout point, whatever. You guys get the picture. In town with stoplights. There was a little bit of country driving in there, but not a whole lot. And I was just shocked that I thought with the kind of style of driving we'd have, we'd probably fall down to 11 miles per gallon after seeing 13.72, wrong again. 13.6 we pulled off um, getting kind of close to home now and this is how far we went and we filled it up as before 1193 is what we'll call it so when you do the math, 165.1 miles divided by 1193 comes out to 13.83. Well, that's what it was on the interstate with rain and plugging along about 65, just under 14, 1380, 1383 is what I think it was when I did the math. So that's where we are. And the last tank 
was more or less interstate. I took the interstate because we left a lot earlier and I had more of it to myself. And, and on that interstate, you know, we had quite a bit of rain that we were battling, but, and I didn't do go with the flow. I was, I was dogging it a little bit, like I would in any of my three speed classic cars. But, uh, you know, it ticked off what it ticked off and uh, just under 14 miles per gallon. And, and one thing it showed, no matter where I went, it stayed above the 13.5. So I'm gonna say there was probably an increase. It was just barely, guys. Quarter of a mile per gallon, not very much. But, you know, that's what the number showed this far. If you wanna know the entire setup of it, I don't wanna explain it all now, but you can go back and watch the other videos. But this is what's fun about cars. What you think you got figured out, right out the window it goes. I brought you the truth of what the math showed anyway. Until next time, guys, whatever idea else I may come up with, may it work or may it not, we'll continue on. Thanks for following us along.